blessed, most merciful Heavenly Father, Lord, I pray, Lord, to be in your will and your grace, to be faithful and true to you, Lord. And I pray, Lord, I pray, Lord, that you be with me. Give me the words. Give me the words that you will have me speak. And Lord, may they be your words, not my words. I pray all this in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen. I am only the dust of the earth and no one is beneath me and the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven and I am God's dirt the strange things they happened to me last night I couldn't sleep and about five o'clock in the morning I started praying for a dream and I been kind of asking myself what is a watchman with dreams and visions if he doesn't have dreams and visions but the Holy Spirit told me not to base my walk with God based on my my dreams and visions but I prayed I prayed for a dream but I also prayed thy will be done because I'm not gonna pray against God's will so I, I prayed for a dream, but I also prayed that God's will be done. And I continued to, to pray on. And then, about 5.15 thereabouts in the morning, all of a sudden, my room went silent. I mean, stone silent. And I had an air conditioner running on a low speed, and I had a, a little fan on my nightstand but all of a sudden I couldn't I couldn't hear anything nothing it was like my ears were plugged up but I knew they weren't because I had just cleaned them out a couple days earlier but uh, it just went stone silent didn't hear a thing then I heard this I heard this wind come like it was blowing through my bedroom but nothing moved I mean the curtains didn't move I didn't feel a, a blast of air but I, I heard this, like a mighty rushing wind, come through my bedroom. And then, then I felt myself in bed, lying in bed awake. I felt myself lift up out of bed. And I lifted up right through the covers. So I, I, I know that it was my soul that was, that was leaving my body. And I was, I was going thank you Jesus thank you Jesus it's the rapture I was so excited I was so excited oh thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus but I only went up about a foot and then I went back down and that that terrified me because I thought that somehow I, I had missed the rapture and I started weeping and, and crying and tears just flowing and I got up and got on my knees at the foot of my bed and if you know me that that's extremely hard for me to do but I got on my knees and I wept I wept bitterly tears flowed like rain I wept I wept and I prayed and I prayed Lord please Lord Please don't leave me, Lord. Please don't leave me, Lord. And I have been, I have been in a couple situations where I thought I was going to die. I was more afraid of this than when I thought I was going to die. Because I know what's coming. I know what's coming. I know what's coming. And it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. Because I've I've seen the tribulation, most of it, a lot of it. It's just going to be horror, magnified by horror. Unbelievable, unspeakable horror. Billions will die. Pain and suffering on, a, on an unimaginable scale, global scale. Unimaginable pain and suffering. And I don't want to be here. I do not want to be here. Whatever I have to do. Whatever I have to do, I will do. I will do, Lord.
I will do. Because I want to go home. At that trumpet blast, I want to go home, Lord. Oh, I want to go home, Lord. Be with you, Lord. Be with you, Lord. Oh, Lord, we're so close. We're so very close. Oh, I thought that I thought that that was it. I thought that that was it. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. I thought that that was it. I thought that that was it. Just a hint. Just a hint that we're so very close. So very close. So very close to going home. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I don't know. I wept and I prayed. And I wept and I prayed. And I finally had to get up off my knees. And I sat on the side of my bed. And I wept and I prayed some more. I just... I thought I had missed the rapture. I thought I had missed it. Just another hit that the rapture is all so close. the rapture is all so close I want to remind you that that there is there is safety and salvation from what is to come but only through Jesus Christ and all you must do to be saved is to humble yourself and admit that you are a sinner in need of a Savior and we're all we're all sinners saved by grace and repent of all your sin and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. That Jesus was crucified and died on an old wooden cross on Calvary. That he was buried, but on the third day he arose from the grave and he walked this earth again inside of men. And that Jesus ascended up to heaven inside of men. And that Jesus now sits on the right hand of the Father, awaiting his glorious and triumphant return. Now pray to place all your sin under the blood of Jesus. Pray for Jesus to enter your heart and give you a new heart and be with you for all the days that you have left on this earth, no matter what they are. You need to speak these words with your mouth. And remember that Jesus, the God, is no longer in most organized churches. I'd say at least 99.9% .9 of the organized churches, they've all been turned over to apostasy. And I beg you, do not follow a wolf in sheep's clothes as they will only lead you straight to hell. Follow only Jesus and his word found in your King James Bible. Don't follow men. Don't follow a faith. Don't follow a church. Don't follow a religion. Follow Jesus and his word. And don't even follow me. But follow the only one that can save you from what's coming. And that would be Jesus. I want to remind you that God can turn little things into very big things. Just look what came out of a manger out of Bethlehem. Come away from the world and the things of the world and pray, repent, and believe. And the read and read the words of God found only in the King James Bible. We are so near the end now. So very near the end now. And I beg you to double your prayer time and then double it again. And we all need to do this. Stay strong in the faith and come out of her, my people. Come out of the world. Separate yourselves from the world as this world is not our home. And this world has nothing we need and nothing we want. Now is the time for fasting, prayer, repentance, sackcloth, and ashes. And if not now, when? We are calling for a three-day uh, fast, uh, sackcloth, and fasting on Feast of Trumpets starting at sundown on the 15th of September to sundown on the 17th. Now, we are work at recommending that you can drink juice, milk, water, even chicken broth is okay. Now, if you have health reasons, you cannot do a food fast. We recommend a Daniel fast, which is only eating fruits, vegetables, nuts, and grains, and you can still drink any liquid you want to drink. So the question is, do you want to impress God before the rapture? Or do you want to try to impress God after the rapture? Which do you think will be more effective? We are, we are going home. We're going home so soon to be with Jesus in the clouds forevermore. And we will see you there on that day. 
And now I am not saying the rapture will be this feast of trumpets. It is only a very good candidate, but it is at a very it is a very good candidate. Now some are saying the rapture will be the 19th or even the 23rd. I I don't know about any of that. I just we're just doing this this fast on the feast of trumpets. God always loves to shock and awe us. And God never likes to be put in a box. But God also is a God of appointments, dates, and times. And if God has an appointment with us, God will keep his appointment. And God does have an appointment. We just have to be ready for his appointment, for his, for his coming. And I want to thank you for your love, your prayers, and your support for this ministry. Without faithful people like you, this work would be impossible. And I want to remind you that the... Uh, uh, Azusa Street Prayer Line is open uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8 until 9 or last caller. Now that's Central Standard Time. And uh, that number is 518-318-7813. And now this is open for all USA residents and Canadian residents as well. And I want to remind you that you, every one of you have been a blessing to us. And we thank God for sending you to us. We keep all of you in our prayers with much love and more grace from above. Amen. I do what I do to be pleasing to God. Only to be pleasing to God. Nothing else. Because nothing else matters. And I do all that I, that I do to get back into those loving arms where I once was before. Where I belong. Where I belong. And where you belong as well. And we will see you there. Our prayer is that we will see you there on that day. On that day. And we're going home soon. We're going home soon. I just keep getting hints. I just keep getting hints over and over and over that we're going home soon. We're going home soon. All we have to do is be in prayer and be watching for that great catching away because it is coming. It is coming and it's coming soon. And I'm not setting a day or an hour, but it's coming soon. <sighs> oh, Lord. So we just need to be ready. We need to be ready. In constant prayer, be watching for that great catching away. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Oh, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for making me a watchman, for giving me a work to do for you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And Lord, oh Lord, thank you for keeping me humble, Lord. Thank you for keeping me humble, Lord. As I am nothing, just the dust of the earth. I, and I am not above anyone. I'm not above anyone, Lord. All that I am is forgiven. And I am your dirt, Lord. I am your dirt, Lord. That's all that I claim to be is your dirt. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen.